You had been raising this point for some time that uh, the market was getting ahead of itself uh, in terms of uh, that, that rate hikes in the US. And this week has been a bit of a reality check uh, for not just US markets, but back home in Indian market as well. How do you see the current market situation? I mean, rate hikes, I have never been, uh, I was never of the view that we will see uh, uh, peaking and then a decline very quickly. So that, that now is becoming clearer. And the market also now is uh, not really pricing in declines in the second half of 2023, as was the case earlier. So that uh, that's from the U.S. side. But no, as far as markets are concerned, I always say that there is a you have to separate the economy and the market. So from the last quarter of last year, I had been saying that you have seen very very uh, poor uh, numbers in global markets for the first nine ten months and. Uh, and that if you look at the year as a whole, also 2022 was one of the worst years ever in, in asset markets around the world, uh, even if you take uh, perspective as long as a century. So it was the very worst year in almost 230 years for U.S. bonds, for U.S. equities and bonds going down together. You saw that in 1931 during the Great Depression, 1941 during the World War, 1969, and then 2022. So I had said, while the bad news on the economy is not over, probably a lot of it is priced in. So if you look at this year, uh, NASDAQ has been one of the best performing indices so far. So it is up more than 11% for the year. So in spite of all this rate hikes, which supposedly mm. then impact the growth companies more, the point is that it was among the worst performing indices last year. So. So the cycle always turns and the market often is ahead of uh, uh, the economy. So it, it is not only what is expected uh, in terms of either the economy or even corporate results, but what is the market pricing in? That sure. really is the question you always have to ask yourself. As they say, uh, you can never really catch the bottom. So do you think this is a good time to be buying banks, uh, even if it's going to head southwards from here, maybe 5-10%? Is, is it a good time to at least start nibbling? Well, we started nibbling at it about uh, middle of last year, middle of last calendar year. So we were always... Uh, a very, very low weightage on banks from 2020 when we started our PMS uh, right up to the middle of 2022, which served us well because during that period, banks underperformed hugely. You know, 2020, that was the only index in the red, only industry index in the red. In 2021, it went up only half as much as the market. So in 2022, both in terms of a trend change and as, you know, as often was discussed, uh, there were some fundamental changes also from the NPA cycle being behind them to the rate hikes. And uh, it was, uh, the story was playing out fine till this whole upheaval which uh, started with the uh, Adani news. And I think uh, that is really what hit the banking sector. I mean, now we are finding some more causes to explain the fall, but I think really the trigger has been that and at times overdone because it hit, a, a, you know, all kinds of banks which have nothing to do probably with the, uh, having a group exposure there. So I don't think, you know, the story basically of whatever one thought of banks three months ago has changed drastically. Mm. Uh, we would be about market weight uh, in banks and uh, uh, not hugely overweight, not hugely underweight.